So, so my spouse and I own a uh, own a classic double in New Orleans. Uh, half of the double is air, is rented out through Airbnb. Uh, as about a month ago, every every foreseeable uh, reservation we had has been canceled uh, through the end of the summer. Uh, our income stream went from last year was forty six thousand dollars for the year. It went from forty six thousand to zero. Uh, when when the federal government first announced that they'd be doing SBA loans back in mid March, uh, I applied for one through our through the LLC that we formed. Never got a response on it, and it was shady at best as far as what what type of documentation you had to provide. Uh, Airbnb recently provided a link back to SBA for uh, for what they consider a streamlined version of the uh, of the loan. I uh, I was wondering if you if you know anything about the process of that, or if I've done the right thing, or if there are other, are other avenues to assess. I was having some conversations yesterday actually, and it's the Economic Injury Disaster Loan Emergency Advance. That is a more streamlined yes. version. That, now, it's, That's the it, one that gives you a $10,000 advance, correct? Right. And when you go down the app, it, what, the area you're needing to answer questions on is regarding rentals. And I had multiple conversations about that yesterday, and some that's gone through the process, some that helping others with it. But uh, I was having conversations about that. That's the one you would go and and utilize, and and there is an application online to get started there. So I think that's and that's through SBA.gov, correct? Yes, yes. And when you um, when you click through, basically, I'm I'm gonna go back to the beginning here of where I entered the website at. <laughs> And when you enter it, we'll go into it. It opens up as coronavirus, COVID nineteen. Learn more. Click there. Go to coronavirus funding options, and then guidance for businesses and employers. It's another one. Then it takes you to another page. Well, I actually, I find it a little bit confusing. So it's got yes, it's it not is. funding options, but guidance for businesses and employers you click on, and that still didn't take me where I wanted to go. So one of the challenges we, that we personally run into is we set up an LLC when we first purchased the property. Uh, but the city of New Orleans does not allow you to run Airbnb units through an LLC. Uh, you have to be an individual. You have to license it as an individual. Should I be applying for this as the LLC or should I be applying for it as an individual? Uh, and we have not filed our 2018 taxes yet. My intention was to file it as a pass-through LLC, so the income from that would just pass through to my Social Security number anyway. But we do have an IEN number. So you've not done 2019 and you've not done 2018. I apologize. We've not done 2019. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but we did not. But we did not have. We did not have Airbnb income in 2018. So we only have one year to go on. We have proof of. It. We have proof of the of the cash flow. But the website didn't ask for that. It just it just asked like on the honor system how much did you make. It's verify. It's easily verifiable, but they didn't ask for it. I I don't have an answer for you there, it, it, honestly, on that. And one of the things you could, if you've got a CPA you're working with, reach out to them. If you've got a banker, an FDIC banker relationship, reach out to them mm -hmm. as well also. And I, I know okay. we've, we've been through the PPP, and uh, my wife helped her dad with his small business on the loan advance program as as well. Then we've spoke with some people that have rental properties on moving through that process. Uh, if you're, and, and once again, if we go down here, now I clicked on coronavirus funding options and then learn more about what's available. So then it takes you to Corona virus relief options page and what it does and i'm going to click learn more here and when you go into the eidl program and then it gives you a eligibility and the program is designed for any small business with less than 500 employees including sole proprietorships independent contractors and self-employed persons 
So private, nonprofit organizations, veteran organization affected by COVID-19. Businesses in certain industries may have help as well. I'm checking texts and no, no help there. Uh, so that's what it says from an eligibility standpoint of what's going on there. Can I cause any? Can I cause any harm by applying as an individual and as the LLC, as a self-employed individual, and then in the LLC's name as well, just to be sure that all my bases are covered? Hang on, just a second. Come on, get on there. We're bringing in a new consultant for the first time. Let's go to a wide <laughs> shot here. Hey. Um, Okay, this is my wife, Stacy. She's the one that kind of goes through this paperwork and has been helped because she's been in these applications. So what are your thoughts regarding his question? So on oh, the, you're going to have to get on the mic, Stacey. I know so it's your radio debut. So on the, um, the $10,000, I call it a grant. Mm -hmm. um, in that process, you, you can, at the beginning, you'll put your EIN number, but then mm -hmm. later on, down the form you also uh you have to list your ownership and whatnot and that and you'll mm -hmm. have it, your social security number will go in there we did we did that so i i think we have that covered uh i guess at this point we're just sitting back waiting to hear something so you submitted it and you got the confirmation uh yes okay Yes. So, but not a confirmation email. They just give you a no. confirmation number at the end that says we won't be emailing you until we approve it. That's right. Yes, I, I've been waiting for my email as well. So y'all are <laughs> in the same spot then. Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, it looks like you did about as much as you could do, Greg. I guess it helps to hear a, a second opinion sort of confirm that. But what else can we do for you? I think you've covered it. Well, awesome. I had a feeling she was going to ship pop into the studio with that question.